Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com and here I'm showing you how to create an iPhone or Android app for free without any coding knowledge. Before I go any further, please uh, look at step 5 here. When your app is ready for the world, download the source code, compile it with Xcode and the iOS SDK or Eclipse and the Android SDK. So this will just give you the code you need for your app. If you want to take it further, if you're on the iOS side, uh, you're going to need to buy Xcode or if you've already got Xcode you'll need to get a developer's license that will cost you $99 and obviously you need the Eclipse and the Android SDK if you need it in the market so this is all about just creating the app after that you're pretty much on your own I highly recommend you go to the forum if you need any further help with that I'm just going to show you through creating the app itself so I need one for Dunks Web so there we go I'm going to agree to everything now the site's been up and down uh, in terms of speed so I'm not sure how long this is going to take um, sometimes it sort of times out, sometimes it works straight away. So hopefully it will create the app for us and not be a pain in the ass. There we go. So it's created successfully. I can now configure the app. Now to sign up here, it's absolutely free. And uh, the code they give you is obviously free as well. So ignore this. This is just showing you where the app's being used. So I'm going to change the app's icon. This is what's going to show on your home screen. You need a 57 by 57 pixel image for this. I've already got one prepared so hopefully um, if it doesn't screw up, there we go, I will be able to show you this. So DW there, that's 57 by 57. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that and hopefully it will upload. We also will get a nice little preview here which will show us what the app icon looks like. Obviously again waiting for this, there we go. So it's asking me to crop it. That's actually working this time, my previous one had it fail. So that's fine, I'm just going to save it as it is. And there we go, you can see a little preview down there of what the app looks like. I won't go too in-depth when it comes to creating it, I'll just show you what you can do with it, because there's a lot of menu options, there's a lot of wizards you can go through. And obviously, again, it will just give you that source code, it won't give you the full thing. Alright, so I'm just going to make open another tab, and hope that this will show us the My Apps. There we go, you can see the icon's already there, so I can now quit out of this because it's already saved. So, change this app's image. This is going to be an image that's going to be featured on the top as you can see here. So I've already made one, uh, DW Big. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. We'll see if this actually uploads this time. And it should show in this bit here. Uh, again, it wants me to crop it. Mine was a little bit too big, it looks like. But it's uh, 320, I believe, by um, uh, 321 by 150. So that's that. As you can see, it's uploaded and ready to go. And so we're done with that. So we've done all pretty much all we need to in terms of graphics and I just need to change the info screen just to show that we made the app. This should open an editor anytime soon. Okay, so you can now see we've got the uh, app screen. It did take a couple of tries to actually get the screen to load up. There we go, enter info here. So I can say uh, I created this app, but not really. So go me. <laughs> save. So that should save that and that's now going to show, it doesn't show in the preview, but it will show under the info for the application. So clicking done. All we need to do now is configure the apps, menus and screens. So I'm not going to show you all of these individually, I'm just going to show you what it can do. So here we've got call us, email us, custom text, HTML, a web page, streaming video, a YouTube video, audio, blah 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 blah, image, location, so you can do a bunch of things with this. I'm going to go to the RSS reader briefly. And uh, as you can see, it's saying uh, be careful of the type of RSS feed you want to import. But um, this is all you have to do, menu screen, menu title, and RSS URL. So there's a lot of things you can do. I highly recommend this site. It's buzztouch.com. And you can check out this, and you can pretty much get all you need to create your iOS app or Android app, obviously it's not going to make games or anything like that, but once it's done, you simply download the source code and you're good to go. So it's packaging now for me and I should be able to download it. So that's about it already, thank you for watching this video, this was how to create an iPhone app or an Android app for free without any coding knowledge. So please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos and thanks again.